Efficiency in inventory, warehousing and logistics are the need of the hour to drive down costs, reduce waste and improve products. Just in time is such a method which is used in planning and control of production systems. Previously, we have explored JIT logic and the elements of JIT manufacturing. In today's episode we will delve deeper into production planning and control in JIT. Welcome to Force Edu, a place where all supply chain enthusiasts come for a weekly dose of knowledge. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel you are missing out on value adding content. Production planning and control is the task where the process of production is appropriately planned beforehand, and the steps of the process are executed as per the plan. Production is the transformation of unprocessed goods into final products. The transformation requires incremental steps, which include estimating what to manufacture, the techniques of manufacturing to be followed, the time of manufacturing, and other valid steps. Just in Time or JIT is a system of management of production. Toyota Motor Corporation was the first to instigate and flourish this system to equate rising customer demands with minimization of hindrances and delays. The system was entirely concentrated on labor, manufacturing hubs and systems. Importance of JIT in production planning and control is such that JIT led to a trimming of warehousing and logistical costs, thus transferring the saving to render the finished goods more economically friendly as JIT adds efficiency to the entire process. Efficiency is added to the system in several steps, and the crucial merits are the termination of raw goods, storage and inventory expenses. Conventionally, raw input materials and the inventory of completed products were labeled as assets. There is paradigm shift due to the philosophy of JIT as now this convention is challenged as dead weight or wasted or loss making investments which attract extra expenses. The Toyota production system represents a pull system, which translates to the production being routed in consumer demand. To the contrary standard approach of push system where commodities are produced and forced into markets. Kanban is a scheduling technique used along with JIT to circumvent over capacity of tasks and iterations and it is used for controlling production and inventory during manufacturing. P Kanban a production Kanban sends the go signal for the manufacture of the designated modules. Easily said, if a heads up from the P Kanban stipulates 200 components, then that quantity will be sent to production. Whereas, for the logistics and movement of good, the sanction will be confirmed from the C Kanban or conveyance Kanban. The applications of JIT are immense and spread across multiple industries. JIT can help lessen inventories by the application of more efficient scheduling. Corporations like IBM implement continuous flow manufacturing, GE implements management by site and HP reinforces stockless production and repetitive manufacturing system to just name a few. The immense successes enjoyed by corporations display the efficacies of JIT in manufacturing and production systems leads to its wide adoption in various industries and further extends to a more efficient, cost-effective and well-managed environment. Thank you for watching the video. Check out our previous series on case studies from supply chain and operations perspective and stay tuned to our channel Force EDU for a lot more on lean management.